what inspired you to run? I know you're in kind of an interim, you're in Sandy Spang seat currently. So what inspired you to run for a full term as city council member? So I was appointed in January of this year, and since then I've really hit the ground running. You know, I've been able to write legislation to get a new police class, to ensure that we had our grass cutting program for blighted areas, and to also pass some ethics reforms. And so I want to continue the work I've started as a city councilwoman, and so that's why I decided to run for another year to keep my spot. There you go. <laughs> okay. And it's been a while. Okay. So, and, um, this year, there's been a lot of attention on City Council, probably a lot more than normal. So, um, what would you say to people? I, th I think people are, are still kind of in that like trust issue phase of things after seeing four council members arrested. So, what would you like to say to those voters? So, with for the voters that you know are thinking about how they want to cast their ballot, just know that City Council, myself included, have really done a lot of work to try to rebuild that trust. You know, as Speaking personally, I started an ethics review committee. I also passed legislation that makes you know stronger ethics um, laws so that way city council can help rebuild that trust. And finally, you know, as a certified public accountant, I'm held to a very high standard of ethics and in public trust. And so um, I want to I want to translate that to the office that we hold right now and continue the work that we started and, and to really um, you know also hold accountable uh, all the city finances that we have. Uh, which I think hopefully can translate into better trust with our government uh, for the citizens that are casting ballots. Yeah, and um, so I was, you kind of beat me to the question a little bit, but what in your background do you think will help you serve the community? Right. And what do you really want to be kind of like the big issue that you're known for moving forward? So I think I'm uniquely qualified to be on Toledo City Council. As a way of background, I am a certified public accountant licensed in Ohio. That gives me incredible experience and knowledge of the, finan of the finances of our city government, which gives me ability to have, provide really good oversight and ask really good questions and hopefully um, act in a way that's always transparent and accountable to the tax dollars that the citizens and trust in their government to spend wisely. Also, you know, I have experience in government, uh, working for Congresswoman Kaptur for a number of years, so I really hope that that uh, dissection of both of those uh, experiences uh, can really make my time on council uh, useful and helpful to the citizens uh, in, in my job. And why do you think your financial background is especially important right now? Well, especially right now, you know, we've gone through quite an economic downturn, quite a hit, because as most Americans, most Toledoans have been really, uh, really are suffering because of COVID-19. You know, we saw a, a $25 million decrease in our revenue estimate for the city of Toledo. And so having that ability to see what areas of uh, the finance, you know, of our, of our uh, revenue and, and expenditures that need to be reprioritized or maybe, you know, re-examined uh, with that financial knowledge, uh, I think can be very useful and helpful as we transition into this next 2021 budget cycle. Absolutely, and um, so, you know, what do you think that you uh, would like to see in the future as far as council, um, you know, big issues that you wanna take on beyond, you know, the budget and whatever else that, you've already, that we've already talked about? Sure, you know, I wanna continue to prioritize safe, beautiful neighborhoods. I wanna make sure that public safety is a priority. I think a lot of Toledo ones really care about that. I also want to continue the work I've been doing with the Ethics uh, Committee and the reforms we've been trying to make. I think we need to look at campaign finance. We're the only major city in Ohio that doesn't have any laws surrounding that, and I think that should be examined uh, with our Toledo City Council. Yeah, and um, you know, not a lot of personal questions have come up for you with your background in being a CPA or anything, but your opponent, obviously, there were some big questions that came up on Friday with his um, history and his record. Um, is there anything you have to say? I know you did speak then, but is there anything you have to say um, or add to you know, what was reported on Friday? You know, I always knew I'd have an opponent in this race for city council. And so I really tried to focus just on my campaign and be positive and, and talk about what I can bring to the table and really promote the values that I care about, which are accountability, transparency, ethics, you know, and safe neighborhoods. All right. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, anything else that you think people should know about you, your campaign, or, you 
you well, know anything right now? I mean, I know that it's a very exciting election, it's a presidential election, but I just hope that people will con continue to go down the ballot and vote for their local officials, their judges, um, and you know, and just and make sure that their voices are heard. I think this is a this is a, such an important election, and so hopefully they'll go all the way down and consider Councilman Katie Moline.